In this video, we will be learning how to do long division using the partial quotients method. In the partial quotients method, there are three steps. One, we will multiply. Two, we will subtract out our multiplied groups. And three, we will add our partial quotients. Here's our first problem, 141 divided by three. The difference in this method is that when we set up the problem, we will do our division box longer on the right side to allow us to set up all of our partial quotients. So 141 divided by 3. We're going to pull out groups of 3 from 141 until we can subtract down to 0. So it's up to you how many groups of 3 you want to pull out. You could get as close to this number as possible or you could pull out small groups at a time. So let's start with 30 groups of 3. If I put a 30 over here, I'm going to do 30 times 3. 30 times 3 is 90, and I'm just going to subtract out those 30 groups of 3 from our original number. So 1 minus 0 is 1. We have to borrow. 14 minus 9 is 5. So now we have 51. We've taken our 141 down to 51. We're going to take out some more groups of 3. So we obviously can't take out 30 groups because 90 is more than 51. So let's take out 10 groups. 10 times 3 is 30. And we subtract those groups out. We're left with 21. So now we think about how many groups of 3 will get us close to 21. We know that 7 times 3 is 21. So take out our 21 which is our seven groups of three, and that brings us down to zero. So we have successfully taken our 141 and gotten it down to zero by taking out groups of three. So our last step is to go back and add our partial quotients. It's important when adding these partial quotients that they're lined up correctly. So we have the ones in the ones place and the tens lined up correctly as well. So if we go over here and add up our three partial quotients, we have seven in the ones place and 4 in the tenth place. So our final answer for this problem, 141 divided by 3, is 47. Our next problem is 624 divided by 8. So again, I'm going to set my problem up, allowing that division line to go longer on the right side, divided by 8. Okay, so we need to take out groups of 8. I'm going to start with 50 groups of 8. I know that 50 times 8, if we do it up to the side here, 50 times 8, 8 times 5 is 40, and I add my other 0, is 400. So I'm going to take out 400 from this original number, subtract it out. 4 minus 0 is 4, 2 minus 0 is 2, 6 minus 4 is 2 left with 224. I'm going to take out 20 groups of 80 now. 20 times 8 is 160. 4 minus 0 is 4. We've got to borrow. 12 minus 6 is 6. Left with 64. I know that 8 times 8 is 64, so I'll take those final groups out, leaving us with 0. And our last step is to go add our partial quotients. They're all lined up correctly. 8 in the 1's place, 7 in the 10's place. So the final answer to this problem is 78. Our next problem is 703 divided by 14. Make that right side longer. Now this is tricky when it's a two-digit number, so if you want to start easy, start easy. Start by taking out 10 groups of 14. We know that 10 times 14 would be 140. So let's start by taking small groups out. 3 minus 0 is 3. Borrow. 10 minus 4 is 6. And 6 minus 1 is 5. So we still have quite a bit left, so why don't we this time do We'll double it. We'll take out 20 groups. So if we double 140, that'd be 280. So let's take out 280 this time. 3 minus 0 is 3. 
take the borrow. 16 minus 8 is 8. 4 minus 2 is 2. We have 283 left, so why don't we take out another 280, which is another 20 groups of 14. 20 times 14 is 280. Subtract. We're left with 3. 14 cannot go into 3, so that's going to be our remainder. Let's add our partial quotients. 0 in the 1s, 5 in the 10s, and put on our remainder. So the answer to this is 50, remainder 3. Last problem is 482 divided by 34. So again, I like to start with nice easy numbers. Let's start with 10 groups of 34. 10 times 34 is 340. Subtract. 2 minus 0 is 2. 8 minus 4 is 4. 4 minus 3 is 1. Okay, so now we're left with 142. Let's go with 5 groups maybe. Let's check over to the side and see if 5 groups would work. So 34 times 5. 5 times 4 is 20, 5 times 3 is 15, 16, 17. That is too much. 170 is more than 142. So let's try 34 times 4 groups. 4 times 4 is 16, 4 times 3 is 12, plus 1, 13. 136 will work. So let's take out 4 groups of 34. 4 times 34 is 136. Subtract that out. We need to borrow. 12 minus 6 is 6. 3 minus 3 is 0. And 1 minus 1 is 0. So that's going to be our remainder because 34 cannot go into 6. Let's go add our partial quotients. 0 plus 4 is 4. And 1 in the tens place. So the final answer is 14 with a remainder of 6.